Nice to see Arthur McCanty Jr. in the ring, part of the great folklore and tradition of New York. Terrific referee and following the footsteps of his dad, who of course did the uh, great Ali Frazier fight here in 1971. Historic arena, historic uh, lineage with the officials. And the atmosphere is truly electric, guys. <laughs> Round one scheduled for 12 for the Welter Lake Championship of the world. Judo's a southpaw. Toto comes out throwing the right, throwing to the body. You know, one thing we should point out right now, there will be no hair issues in this fight. Uh, and that's a beautiful left uppercut by yeah. Judah. And there's the speed right there that we were talking about. Counting him, but I think he's hurt Cotto, and he's got him in the corner. And these are the first four rounds that we were talking about where he could be so dangerous. This has always been the Achilles heel. Oh, this is the Achilles heel. Oh, oh, oh. Judah needs to jump on this. Judah trying to capitalize. Well, yes. 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 in the first round, a low ball. And you know, it's so unnecessary, Wally, because he hurt him and caught him with that left uppercut, and he shot it out like a rocket. And I think he's trying to use every advantage in the book here. I'm sorry, but that just... He's going to try to apologize. Miguel's going to try to apologize now, and I don't think Judas is much of a good boy. We'll have to take a look at it when we see the replay, guys. That definitely was a break for Cotto. I mean, he got caught with a beautiful uppercut. Any time to recover for Cotto. A great point. And it's, it just changed the whole momentum of the first round, guys. Cotto got caught. He'll learn from that. Cotto moving more forward in this round. Probably would be a little more cautious to avoid that left-hand uppercut. Big power shot he took just below the chin and on the neck in round one. Nice right hook by Judas. And then Zab took a shot between the Z and the A on his belt line. Mm -hmm. Ricardo's working that body now the way he wants to. And there was a good chopping left there by Cotto as well. He's got a powerful, powerful punch from just six to eight inches away if he can land it on you. A minute left to round two, scheduled for 12. Cotto trying to dip to the body. Judith did a good job defensively this round of rounding some sharper punches, but the aggressor's been Cotto in this round. See, the thing about Cotto is he's like a lot of baseball pitchers. You've got to get them early because he just gets better and stronger as the fight goes on. That's a great example. Yeah, he settles in, figures him out. Good body punch for Cotto as he digs it downstairs. Now, that little flicking jab's not going to be effective for Judo against this guy. He's got to put, he's had to sit down his punches a little more. Wow. Not enough gets the ropes. There's a swarm. Judo's got to double up on that jab and answer oh, with that left hook. like this. He and he hurt him again. A little dance. He hurt him again. Yes, he did. He's got it just as I said. He's got The one oh. thing that hurts Judah in this fight is he's not very active. But, you're exactly know? right. He's his own enemy. <laughs> yeah, he picks his own shot. Oh, oh here we go again. Oh, that, I mean, that is dramatic. That is dramatic. And I think you're right when you mention he's going for the DQ. I hope not. Nothing like the instant replay rule, I guess. And where is his blood coming from with Miguel Cotto? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's blood on his chest. What? It's coming from his lip. It's coming from his lip. That's so that, that, is, that is a result of, a, of, I think, his vicious uppercut from earlier, because he's coming from his lip. If, if Judah doesn't have inspiration now, he's hurt him. He's, he's made him bleed. Cotto's going at him. Now, this is where Judah needs to step it up. And Judah is going to it up. Change. It's to his advantage. He's got him frustrated. Maybe this is part of the game plan that Judah's trying to mastermind all along to engage him to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, where he knows he's going to get the best, the better part of the, of the action there. Take two dives and then get up and knock him out, huh? He's going to get the best, the better part of the, of the action there. Take two dives and then get up and knock him out, huh? Who knows? It's a strategy, but who knows? If it works, you know what? Other guys will do it. The bottom line with Judah is you never know. Cotto stepped up the pace after the low blow here. Maybe Trump knowing that Judah could be easily frustrated and unpredictable. But Cotto's got to be very careful because he's had a, a lot of speed. A lot of speed. And he has yet to figure out an answer to that left uppercut. And Judah controlled it well. He's still trying to bang the body. I think it's a matter of being patient with Judah. Take him to the later rounds and see if he will unravel. Judah's got a lot of talent, folks, and we've known it all along. He's got a lot of talent, but he's never been able to 
put together his talent with his strategy. He's going to execute it all and make it come together in one night. Well, his history tells you that the longer the fight goes on, he's the one who will unravel. There's an uppercut. There's another one. He landed it again. Another, another, another Wally. Wow. You know, Alan, he's, he's putting on a display with his skills. Well, he's saying, it reminds me of speed, reminds me of Mayweather. Now, Judah's got to quit worrying about it. Tiki tack stuff. I mean, the low blows was obvious that last one, but he's got to clear his head and worry about fighting. And Absolutely not, right. This is the, this is a hurt business. Things happen. You got to be able to work through it. Right, oh, we got blood over the right eye of Judah. Yep. Now Judah's cut. Judah's cut. Why, is that a punch or was it a headbutt? I couldn't tell. Uh, I think we'll wait for the replay on that one. I think it was a punch. That might inspire. Their heads off. haven't been that close, but who knows? Now they're getting close again. It's just so furious in there with all the speed. Talk about a rocky beginning. Oh, and Kono going southpaw on us. Yeah. I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, I, I think that plays into Jab. Jab not taking advantage of it. Yeah, it's maybe just trying to confuse Jab. Why would you give away your best weapon, which is your left hook? Just to screw around. I've seen uh, Morales do it before just to prove a point. Sugar Ray Leonard trying to prove a point against Adela Duran. Bono lands pretty good right hand there. Judas seems to have slowed down, but he's looking at he's looking he's that uppercut. Up, yeah. yeah, he's looking for that uppercut, guys. You know, but he, he, you could be waiting all night for that. You got to set it up. Yeah. You got to jab to the body, jab to the hips, plant your feet, and that combination's going. Let it come to you. He likes to go to the body. That's a good combination for the corner right there. To me, Jab's mistake is that he's not using his jab enough here, and he's allowing Cotto to get set and get started. Nice nice Wally, he's not person. doing anything of anything enough. He's You're not right. jabbing enough. He's just not punching enough. <laughs> Good point. That's Cotto. Watch out for the elbows. I mean, right there. You see, he should be jabbing to keep Cotto jabbing to come back with a counter left hand. He's allowing Cotto to take that step in. Another blistering round here. Cotto doing a lot of damage here in this round. His best round so far with the blood dripping out of his mouth. Blood coming down the right eye of Judah. A punch right at the end. McKinney steps in and pulls him apart. The crowd goes wild. It's, just, it's, it's a sign of, of, um, of indecision and, and, you know. That's that left hook for the first the time. The uppercut trying to get in there. And, and it could be pointed out, but look at that left hand. But Cotto is, is, is doing what he wants to do in this fight. Cotto's not looking at anybody else for help right now. No. Oh, and another beautiful uppercut by Judah. And you wonder, and another one. Round six, halfway gone. Miguel Cotto's been doing the same pressures. It's a matter for him of attrition if he could just beat down Judah and beat his real will down. But Judah's still got so much fire in that left hand. There's a right hand that got in for Cotto. That's going to go in. He'll be patient. Cotto will be patient. And go, Cotto going immediately to the body. Catching him with that lead right oh, hand. Left hand. Good combination. He's a great finisher, though, Cotto. I'll tell you what. He knows how to finish. Judah's in some trouble now. It's, it's never really worked to anybody's benefit. I know I couldn't do it. Here we are, round seven. A couple of good body punches from, uh, from Judah. He's showing signs of life. It's just, it's just amazing to come back in round seven like he has and doing the kind of things he needs to do. That hurt. Well, it's helped that Cotto has kind of slowed down the pace a little bit this round. Oh, another oh, nice, man, beautiful man, shot. A couple big shots. A couple big shots. To you. And that's the judo we need to see. And that's the judo we need to see. taking it. And that's the judo we need to see. At least those big punches in those hard counters. Cotto's holding on. Outside. Cotto's holding on now. I'll tell you what, though. For a guy whose chin is questionable, Cotto stood up to a tremendous punch. He ran into it the first one. We see it on the replay. It's not to be believed. Very unusual. Not for him, but <laughs> good left hand from Cotto. That body oh, lift is getting really, really, really bad. Now Judah sticks his tongue out at Cotto for whatever reason. Cotto, I think he's got one of those good shots. Yeah, he's got one of those busted lips. He's oh, busted up those no got a few good shots. Hands left for Cotto. Judah says bring it, which is never a good sign. Cotto being busy, Cotto being the aggressor. Judah started Cotto punching. Judah starting to act a little wiggy in there, guys. Starting to do some funny things as you predicted, Wally. I don't know how it's helping him to take uncontested punches like that. In front of 20,658 fans tonight here. Wow. 
What a huge crowd and what a great night for boxing. Judah doing some strong oh, and a nice, beautiful uppercut by Judah. Ha. Maybe try to sneak it in there. Judah's corner, I don't think doing him any favors in invoking the family in Philadelphia. That has nothing to do with what he's facing right now. And, and the right eye of Judah seems to be closing rather quickly. He's been linking it a lot. He's having trouble seeing that. Yeah, it, for a while, it was, it was kind of staying stable, right? Because it's been cut for a few rounds. Left hand right. from Cotto. And, and there's another left hand from Judah. Good punch. Good counter. I'll say overall, though, Cotto's fought the exact type of fight he needed to fight tonight, although he's absorbed some wicked punches and got a point taken away. This, yeah. is, this is the kind of pressure he had to put on this guy. Judah's really having trouble seeing out of that eye. That eye's taking a turn for the worse. And Cotto's taking full advantage of it, coming with some big left hooks. But Cotto's got to be patient, which is his trademark here. Cotto scored with any Zappa. Oh, nice, which is back. That eye looks bad for Judah. Downstairs goes Cotto. Blood streaming down from Zap Judah. Cotto's been bloody for a long time with a busted lip. We're in round nine. Oh, wow. Here's a level cut from Miguel Cotto. The left hook to the body is starting Judah to come back with his combination to the head. Judah holding on now with that left oh, arm. This could be Miguel Cotto's best round. Cotto really quite out of Judah still has got the speed, guys. He can counter if he wants to. I don't know about that, Alan. I think all the meters are going down. Cotto, hands are going Eating down. The head and the body. They got Cotto, big miss from Judah from the right hand. Cotto boring in. Down to one knee goes Judah, out of nowhere. Just takes a knee out of nowhere. And why the inspector stopped him, I have no idea. Cotto withering down. Cotto knows how to finish, and he will finish, given the opportunity. Judah, the longest 30 seconds of Zab Judah's life right here. But his father was right, actually. He's absolutely when he, right. When he punches, he does hurt Miguel. Yes. Oh, there goes the left hand, and the combination to the head. I thought it was right back up. It was a punch. Combination for Cotto. To see what Judah has left here. Round 11. Now he's going to try to hold on. He's trying to hold on. Arthur McCann has got his work cut out for him here. See the good news. That's it. Stop the fight. Yo, Judah was right six rounds ago, but I don't think yeah. the kid hasn't shown the ability for a couple of rounds to do that. You gotta give credit to Miguel Cotto. He's a tough individual. He's relentless. He does what he needs to do to win. He proved a lot tonight. He really did. He did. You know, there's still gonna be questions about the chin.